We now know where President Obama will be Thursday when he campaigns here in Jacksonville for Hillary Clinton. He'll speak at a rally at the University of North Florida Arena at 1.30 and doors open at noon. If you'd like to attend, you need to RSVP. We put a link on news4jax.com inside this story. Nearly every state in America is asking the Department of Homeland Security for help in election 2016. They want to make sure their election systems are protected against cyber threats. The list of those states has not been released. We called Florida today. Officials won't confirm it's on the list, but says it's been in contact with the federal government about this issue for a year. This comes exactly one week before Election Day. It seems predictions of high voter turnout are holding true. As of this afternoon, 3.7 million Floridians have voted early or absentee. This is a map showing the breakdown in local counties. Some supervisors of elections expect 80 percent or higher turnout next week. Channel 4's Jim Piggott spoke with those officials and voters, and he's live in St. John's County. Jim. You know, early voting just ended here for today here in St. John's County. It ended at 6 o'clock. I'll tell you, there was a stream of people all day long coming in and out here voting today. And this isn't even the busiest site here in St. John's County. But I talked to a number of people here and in Clay County and in other areas today about why they're voting early, why it's important for them to be voting right now. Margaret Rickerson is an election volunteer for the Democrats in St. John's County. She's at the polls every day and is watching how passionate voters are on both sides in this election. They want their, um, their person to win, so, uh, and hearing the things that are going on with the candidates, I mean, people just are out there and getting it in. Does it surprise you that they're getting this involved? Somewhat, yes, because if it had not been for the situations with the candidates, I, I really don't think it would be that important for It's the same sentiment echoed by Republicans and Democrats, and it's why some voters are here today instead of voting on Election Day. Right now in St. John's County, turnout from early voting and absentee is at 36 percent. And if this enthusiasm stays at this peak, we could see an 80 percent turnout by Election Day. I think we could very likely to see that. Is that a surprise to you? No, actually, my staff and I all along and our poll workers had been planning for a 90% turnout, just so we're ready. Similar story with voters in Clay County. Supervisor of elections Chris Chamblins calls the presidential election the Super Bowl. So far, 30% have turned out in Clay County with hopes of hitting 80, and he says the problems have been few. So far, it's been very uh, streamlined. Uh, the only provisional ballots thus far have been for lack of photo and signature ID. It's very important that you remember to bring your photo and signature ID to the polls. And in checking in Duval County, 28% of the people, registered voters, have voted early or by absentee. So these numbers are growing and growing. And in most places, early voting will go until next Sunday. We're live in St. John's County. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.